What is going on guys? This is Amr and today we're going to be starting a new series here on YouTube where we're going to be building Netflix clone from scratch using Swift 5. As you can see here, the clone that we're going to be building is the exact same replica of the Netflix application. As you can see here, there's a, a list, a bunch of list of trending movies, trending TVs, popular movies and upcoming movies, and one of my favorites of all time, the top rated, where you can see here the Shawshank Redemption and The Godfather. I really like these movies. And in today's video, we're going to be building this as a final product. Um, as you can see here, you can either play or download you can even long press any title where it gives you this cool animation and option to download. Basically, when you click download, it's going to be added to this list. Um, also, we have here a tab bar where we can actually um, navigate through a list for um, tabs. Well, we have here, for example, a coming soon tab where it gives you a list for the upcoming um, movies and TV series and all that kind of stuff. And one of my favorite features that we're going to be building is the top search, where we are going to be able to search for our favorite movies like Harry Potter and whatever movies that you like. We have a downloads list. Um, also, when you press when you press or tap on any title of those, it's going to be taking you directly to the official trailer for the movie you're going to be having um, a controller view where it displays the trailer itself the title of the uh, the movie and also you're going to have um you know like a brief about what is this is really about like you can read this after finding a house body you know the rest um you can just go back in here and yes this is what we are going to be building as you can see here also the navigation bar scrolls with the table view and scrolls back but it sticks to the top when it reaches a certain point so let's just start by creating a new xcode project we can select app uh, let's call that netflix clone and make sure to take storyboard and swift because these are the things that we're going to be using building this application hit next and choose your down um, your installation folder so uh, first of all i'm not going to be working with storyboards so let's just first go ahead and get rid of those you can click on main move to trash then click on the info plist file scene configuration and uh, we can delete the storyboard name um one more thing here uh let's just um hit the Netflix clone uh, app, we'll just go ahead and hit shift command F, let's type main, uh, let's just select the first one over here and one more time just search for main, this is the fastest way you can do it actually. So over here you can see UI kit main storyboard, we can delete that as well and right now 100% we got rid of the storyboards. So right now, let's just go ahead to our scene delegate file. Let's just configure that so that we can work without these storyboards. Uh, we're going to be name, renaming this to window scene. Okay. And then using this variable over here, the window, we're going to be assigning new window for our application to be running on. So let's just go ahead and type window. Um, is equals to UI window. Initialize that with a frame. Um, we can see here. We can say um, window scene dot coordinate space dot bounds. Um, next thing you need to write is window dot window scene is window scene. Um, third and um, the third thing is window dot root view controller is going to be our view controller over here. So let's just make a new instance of that. And last but not least, window dot make key invisible. So what this basically means is that we are going to be assigning this view controller to um, to be the root view controller for our application window. 
So, um, okay, so let's just go ahead and see what we're going to be building over here. Let's just go ahead and open that Netflix app. Um, I don't know why this is all about. All right, yeah, okay, okay. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, we have our home. Um, we have a tab bar here that we can use to, you know, navigate between the tabs. And let's just start by building this at first. So, um, let's go ahead and change that name to, you know, main tab bar view controller. Uh, because I like each view controller name. Uh, to be descriptive about what it does um, in, you know. So let's just main tab bar view controller. Let's just change that as well to UI tab bar controller. And here we are going to be making this as the starting point for our application. So let's just start, um, change that one more time. Let's just go ahead to our main tab bar. Let's just make ev sure everything is working just fine. Um, system yellow. Let's just choose our simulator to be the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max and hit Command R for build and run this. Um, you know, as for the first time, it's going to be taking a little time until it's installed. Oh, it actually worked. It didn't take much time at all. So as you can see here, um, We've changed the view background color of the main tab bar to system yellow. And over here, you can see it's a little bit dimmed because this is actually our tab bar that we're going to be using. Okay, so um, we have all of this. Let's just create here a folder that's called that controllers. Oh, no, something is not right. Um, okay, controllers. And let's. Um, create a new file over here. We're going to select Coco Touch class, um, UI view controller, let's just call that home. Press create, um, delete all of that. We're not going to be needing that. And um, let's just background color red. Um, let's create another one here. Coco Touch, the same thing, search, or I believe it's going to be upcoming. Upcoming, view controller, okay. Hit create, delete all of that, um, but just select another color for it. View background color is going to be um, green. Um, I'll just create the the third one, which we have here, I believe it's search, new controller. Okay, let's uh, do the same thing. Basically, development is all about making uh, the same pattern over and over again. So, view the background color. Uh, let's just give it um, pink, system pink. Okay, and last but not least. Um, one more Coke Touch class, which is going to be downloads. Um, let's give it a new color as well, so that we can identify it once we press on it. So let's give that, um, I don't know what we, blue, okay. So we have here our main tab bar that is going to be having four tabs to press on. So let's just, initialize that. So let VC1 is equal to UI navigation controller, root view controller is going to be home, and uh, okay, VC2 UI navigation controller, root upcoming, one more time, V3 equals to UI navigation controller, okay, search, let VC4 is equal to UI navigation controller. You okay? And if you ask me why the hell we uh, added those controllers to a UI navigation controller, okay, basically, um, as you can see here, let's just go ahead to the application that we're going to be building. Um, here's a navigation controller, and once we click on any of those, it's going to take you to another 
um, an, a controller that's going to be pushed on the current one. So basically, this is why we are adding each one of those to its own navigation controller. Let's go back to here. Okay. Um, we want first to change the image uh, or let's just go ahead and set view controllers over here. Let's just create an array of our VCs. So VC1, VC2, VC3, and VC4. Animated, let's just set that to true. Okay, let's just go ahead and build and run this and let's see what we've got. All right, I can see here that we've already uh, showing our first VC. Um, let's just press over here and as you can see immediately, we can change between the uh, tab bars over there. So why don't we add um, an image for each one of those so that we can easily identify those. We're going to be using SF Symbols. Um, it's a tool uh, available on the Apple website. Um, as you can see here, we can search, for example, for house. Um, we're going to be using this as our home uh, tab bar image. So um, let's just go ahead and type vc one dot tab bar item dot image is equals to UI image system name house. We're going to be making the same thing over here, tab bar item image UI image. And I believe this one name was, um, what was it? I really have no idea, but let's just um, play, um, yeah, play circle. I believe this is the one. So we can copy the name over here. We can paste the name over there and boom. VC3 tab bar image dot okay UI image system name I believe this is called Magni um, fine glass um, yeah that stands for the search yes and VC4 tab bar item dot image is equals to image system name I want to have something that um, um okay something for the download i believe it was called um arrow online something like this we can use that to search oh yeah arrow arrow down to line so let's just copy that name let's add that name over here and boom that's it let's just build and run this and it's easy as this <laughs> like yes it's really really simple as you can see here um also we can um right vc1 tab bar item tint color i believe um i don't believe it's the one vc1 dot title home vc2 dot title um, coming vc3 dot title search um, I believe it's top search um, let's just make sure that we're naming that correctly okay um, home coming soon top searches and downloads okay home coming soon top searches in that category and VC4 tile downloads. Let's just write that correctly. Boom. Build and run. And yes, we have all of this over here. Um, I believe one last thing that we need to do is just um, let's just set that to system background. No, I want to actually set the system background for all of the controllers over here because you know those colors are gonna make me blind somewhere. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and build and run that one more time. What do we have here? Okay, we have our tab bars 
um, successfully made. I believe that we just need to change the tin color for each and every one of those. Let's just go ahead in the main okay tab bar dot tint color dot label i believe that's that's the one i'm really sorry yes and let's just go ahead and try that um with the dark mode and the light mode and as you can see here it's all working so um that's it for today's video um in the next video we're going to be starting working in the home view controller we're going to be um setting our table view so that it can look something like this um as you can see here just let me give you a brief because this video is getting too long um here's a table view that's the header for the table view and each cell for the table view is going to be a collection view itself where we can use to horizontally horizontally scroll through our movies and as you can see here uh, it's really really efficient because it doesn't load um, the whole list at once it uh, it only does that when you reach um, the end like this so yes and not all the table view cells load at once so yeah it's pretty much efficient so if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel hit like and please activate this ring button um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.